Good day, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another review video. I am a little bit sick, so I might not sound great. I have a really bad stuffy nose. And everything else is pretty much fine, for the most part. I did take medicine earlier, so let's hope that helps. And sorry I haven't been posting. Um, you can blame that on the editor. And I hope he watches this video. Joking. Um, yeah, no, I... He's been editing the videos, and I don't know. Stuff happens with the computer. Anyways, we are back with another review. This time... It's actually a uh, pretty new, pretty new uh, character, pretty new uh, action figure too. Um, I don't know when it came out. I'm pretty sure you technically still have to pre-order it. Like it actually hasn't officially come out. I could be mistaken. Just in case, if you want the figure, go and get it yourself. Look it up. Go Google. And yeah. Anyways. Boom, is the Thanksgiving John Carver action figure, ultimate action figure. It's a beautiful box. It's really nice and smooth and fresh. It's very fresh. And I am super excited. My dad got me this. Shout out to him. He got me this and surprised it with me, uh, to, surprised it to me yesterday after we were watching thanksgiving i was super happy anyways let's take a look at the packaging like i said sick ish first we have him in the front a beautiful very dim lighting very very dim there will be no leftovers thanksgiving Ultimate John Carver action figure. Take a look at the side. It says Thanksgiving on the side. Got John Carver up there as well. NECA Real Toys. The back shows some positions and his different accessories. Looks like a flintlock. The flintlock in the movie. Hammer and the axe. I was pointing at his arm, but I meant to point at the axe. Um, and then his face and his mask. Uh, and then it gives you what it comes with at the bottom, which I thought was interesting. I didn't know NECA did that. It, I can't. Come on, focus. Not focusing. Anyways, uh, it just says includes mask and what it comes with. Thanksgiving right there. Thanksgiving on the side. Again, same thing on the other side. Then Thanksgiving at the top. A lot of Thanksgiving. I know this technically is late considering it's not Thanksgiving. NECA. At the bottom just has the usual NECA Real Toys barcode. And the direction of the... Oh, the direction of development different names anyways take a look inside right you all we have him on the side and a beautiful and a beautiful face of the ultimate john Carver thanksgiving slasher it's a beautiful figure as you can see i have not taken him out at all um, but this is an awesome figure, and so let's get him out of the packaging. All right, there he is, out of the box, in his glory. Now, something I haven't done in a while is take a look at the background, which, that's because I usually don't care about the background. I feel like I should start doing that. Just to show you guys what it comes with. A very bloody red background. What looked to be like 
I don't know, the first thing I thought of was maybe um, veins, but there's that bloody light back there that, there you go, you can see a little bit of it, maybe veins, but we don't need that, <clears throat> sorry once again, I am sick, anyways, it's, there he is, with all of accessories down at the bottom of his feet. He was a real pain in the butt to get standing up, I tell you. Um, and that was because we were on a slope. I did not know that. Luckily, I'd gone pretty good where now he's not going to wobble off. I can easily move the table around, which I don't mean to sometimes, and he won't fall. So that's good. Let's take, let's see, let's take a look at the figure first. The figure has a nice black jumpsuit, just similar to, what's his name? Michael Myers, the other killer. His hand is the shape of a, looks like maybe the gun. Um, he is pretty Everything, I mean, it's just a black jumpsuit. You got two pockets there, butt pockets. Then you got two more pockets right down there. Then you got a nice collar. It, that collar standing up. <laughs> Did not notice that. Anyways, articulation. A beautiful, somewhat 90 degree articulation for the arms. At least one arm. I don't want to push it too much you know and then we got double jointed elbow very nice and of course arms go all the way around legs all the way out do splits yeah. then it goes up back and then out and then the knee 90 degrees and the foot has actually a little bit of rotation. Up, down, rotate. And they are actually pretty good detail. Especially in the movie. These are practically like exactly the same boots he was wearing. And I can't get the light on there. It doesn't want to focus and it bothers me. Anyways, take a look at the face. The mask. Why is it not want to focus? Okay. I guess we're doing it that way. Beautiful mask. Beautiful hat. It's got a little buckle like a pilgrim. And that is that. The hat. Now if we can go back. The hat does come off like that there you have it it's a nice hat nice oval shaped head and top it's like a little top hat i don't know what kind of hat this would actually be called i would call it a top hat but it's not i guarantee it's not a top hat anyways the mask does come off and i've been we waiting to see this but you take it off and you just slide it and there is a man. Oh my god. Really? Focus. Well, now it's not going to stand. Okay, let's just do this. Nope, we need the light, though. Focus. Okay. Well, it's not wanting to focus for some reason. It's driving me insane. Why aren't you focusing? Focus. There you go. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Anyways, there's the face. It has the little slot because in the back of the mask, it has this. And it's beautiful. That's the mask. It's the holes. The eyes and the mouth are holes. How about the nostrils? Oh my god, are the nostrils holes too? No. Are they? <sighs> they are. Oh. 
They are little tiny nose. It looks like his nose are. Yep. Oh wow. So it has one, two, three, four, five holes in it. In the mask for this character. That's awesome. Accidentally press pause. Now I'm not gonna put um <clears throat> the mask back on instead we're going to look at the accessories put them back here let's hope the accessories will focus first he has the gun why not take a look at the gun first beautiful gun i don't know what kind of gun it is but it's 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 a gun i think it's like the tranquilizer gun he used to knock out the kids and stuff so that's pretty cool. Um, the hands, it looks like he has a gripping hand for a weapon. Maybe for the axe or a hammer. Or knives. I don't know. He has a lot of hands. This one is another gun hand? I I think. I I don't know. Smaller gripping hand. Two, so these somehow are different. Because they have, I think one has a bigger grip than the other. And then there's another hand here, whoops, for the left, another grip. And it looks like we have two lefts, three lefts. Two rights. Three lefts, two rights. Let's take a look at the knife, I guess. Going totally out, out of order. I don't know if there is order. A beautiful knife. It is an interesting knife. It isn't like... I don't know what kind of knife this is. I guess a carving knife? Is there such a thing? It has a weird, interesting blade. Where it has a point like that. A good stabbing knife. That's what it is. Good stabbing knife. And then it has the kitchen knife. Now notice. <laughs> these are clean. This is obviously a kitchen knife because of the shape. I know what a kitchen knife looks like. We all should considering we all watch Halloween. Michael Myers. And plus if whoever watched the other video. Michael Myers had a kitchen knife. Everyone should know that. And then. Here is, what is this thing called again? Meat, meat riser? I don't know. Tender, tender meat? I don't know. It's the thing you smack meat in. Boom, boom, boom. Two sides. The pointy side and then the hard side. It's like a hammer. Uh, a nice, looks like wood engraving, dark wood. Do, 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 do. You can't see it because I have horrible camera. No, I don't. I just, for some reason, I just can't get that. Okay. Anyways, it has nice wood engraving in there. And then let's take a look at the hammer. Hammer is actually pretty, it's got some weight at the top, like it's an actual hammer, which is actual. Actual, actually, kind of nice. Oh my god. This is stupid I'm, how bad I am. How sick. I hope I can go to school tomorrow. It's actually pretty heavy, which I kind of like that. It's solid. It's not, like, it's it's a pretty good. Uh, another wood engraved item. Very beautifully done. You can see some discolored in there. And then, let's take a look at the flintlock. Flintlock is pretty cool. Some nice detailing, different colors. This actually looks like my pirate gun. Whoever follows me on Instagram, I went to the Renaissance Fair and I got a pirate gun. This kind of reminds me of it with the silver and then the gold. 
I like it. Beautiful, nice wood paint, I guess. It doesn't, it's not engraved. It's more smooth. It just has discoloration to make it look like wood. But it does a really good job of it. Oh, you know what? That's This is what the other hand is for. This. Duh. Doo -doo. And then, I'm pretty sure this is actually a shotgun. A flintlock shotgun. And then we have the axe. The most probably iconic weapon for this character is the axe with a nice... I don't know. It's a really nice axe. Um, it has curve. So it's a curvy little thing. Curvy axe. And uh, the detail on this is crazy. It doesn't have any... Maybe it has rust or blood on it. Like super dry blood. But other than that, it's pretty good. Now, time for the masks. So we all seen this mask duh now let's look at the next mask this mask is the same thing as this same model same everything it just has blood which i think is awesome i think it's pretty cool that it has blood now this isn't my favorite mask of the figure but it is also it is still a really cool mask. It's got blood coming out of the nose. It's got blood all over. It's probably... I think this... I think he got splattered with blood. I don't remember. I saw the movie yesterday. I don't remember. Still. Now, this is probably my favorite mask. This is like a burnt mask. And I love it. I love the melt of it. Look at it. The nose is even drooping, drooping down. Everything is drooping down. It's a really nice mask. You even got it on the inside. The burntness of it, which I think is interesting. But I actually like this mask better than any of them. It's probably what I'll do him with. But yeah. Now... Let's, uh, here, let's put the mask on. If I can. All you do, you gotta line it up and then push. I think. Yep, boom. And then it goes on, just like that. Now, let's get all the accessories out of the way just real quick. And let's take a look at, oh, I didn't look at the articulation for head, did I? Uh, head, oh, wow, stiff. Can look side, oh, my God. Side to side. It can look a little bit down, not really. It looks like it's looking straight at you guys either way. And it can look a little bit up. Now it's looking straight at me. Interesting. Anyways, let's take a look at the... How, what size? Okay, first, size of this character without the hat is about seven and a half inches, it looks like. Of course, there you go. Now, it looks like there is a little bit of space. It's actually a little bit more for me. No, it actually is seven and a half inches. <laughs> without the hat for you guys you guys see the space because of the angle of camera now if you put the hat on now it's probably going to be a good eight and a half inches let's take a look oh actually no it's down on the ground my bad Oh my god, look at that character. Look how evil he looks. You guys do... I do recommend the movie. It is pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. And my thing is kind of being broken right now. Okay. 
So it actually stands right about at 8 inches in height. So 7.5 inches without hat, 8 inches with hat. This is a pretty cool figure. I do recommend it. Um, I got it straight from NECA. Of course, one of my favorite toy store figures. You know. Ugh. I do not like being sick. I am sorry, guys. I got this figure yesterday, and I'm super excited about it. I couldn't wait. Anyways. There's the figure. And, yeah. I'll be right back. All right, let's see how we interchange hands. Now we're going to try do it with the axe, right? Now we need right hand, which I here it is. Here's the right hand, and there's two rights. So let's make sure that this is the right hand. So I'm going to guess is considering how big it is and how. You might need to pry this open. Just a tad. Boom. There, there you go. The hand's in there now. Now, if we just take this out nice and smoothly, just twist it out, pull, and phone falls down. That's supposed to happen. There he is. Ah! His hand is gone. But wait, let's put his hand back in. Did, did, did. Oh, boom. It, oh, just clicks right back in. Boom. There you have it. That's it. Done. Boom. Now, now he has an axe and actually stays in there fairly. I, I'm i moving just the axe and it's pulling the arm. That's impressive. Uh, none of the action figures I have do that. I, so I'm super glad that this actually, like, fits. It fit fits, you know? You can have it just like that. Oh my god, it looks awesome. And there you guys, there you guys have it. There is the, J -J 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 what is it, John Carver? John Carver action figure. Ultimate John Carver action figure from Thanksgiving by NECA. This is a great figure. Anyways, I'm going to try to stop being sick. Hopefully, I can do that like later today or tomorrow. So, have a good day, good afternoon, and a good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.